Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you the story of a recent trip where I shot three huge kingies in just over half an hour. I've wanted to shoot a kingy for just over three years now, but being confined to mainly shore dives has left me with limited opportunities to achieve this. So I joined the local spearfishing club, which opened up a whole new world. I did, however, have a great chance uh, just around 12 months ago to shoot an absolute beast. I didn't capitalize on it at the time, and when I think back, it was probably more a lack of experience that cost me the fish on that day. My mate Chad, however, did plug an absolute 23 kilo beast of a kingy. Anyway, 12 months on it finally happened i can tick that fish off the list let's roll on those clips that looks so clear <laughs> oh, beautiful come on kingy So this is it, I'm determined I'm shooting kingfish today. Jared's already taken a drop and spotted them. It's my turn to hit the bottom and see what will come in. I'd no sooner got there, lifted my head and in the distance a shadow started to appear. The top middle of your screen, it was a single fish on his own. He obviously spotted me and he was gone. Oh, there's a decent one down there. Yeah, it was on his own. Another metre closer, mate, and he would have been mine. He came in within uh, no, four metres or so, four or five metres, and then he I was just waiting to get a bit of closer, and he just turned and then just, just stayed a bit out of the reach. Hey? Right. There were no fish in the boat after the first location, but it was more about getting the blood pumping, expanding the lungs, ready for the deeper diving to come. It's not often I get the chance to hit the bottom at these depths while shore diving, so when I get the opportunity, I take it. This is around 18 metres, which is good practice. I think with that last statement I jinxed myself because what was about to unfold over the next hour was just crazy. We'd no sooner hit the water, I didn't have a chance to turn the camera on yet and Jared had shot the first fish for the day. Now in true kingy style they vortexed around so I took a dive, lined them up, plugged one, hit the spine, the spear didn't go through and the flopper didn't engage. Unfortunately I also bumped the camera so it was tilted slightly off angle and I didn't pick up all the action in frame. Next thing I know, Jared's onto it. Besides dealing with his own fish, he's tried his best to push that shaft through the fish so I wouldn't lose it. The next thing I see is Jared, two kingies, two spear guns disappearing into the depths. We searched for 15 minutes, but between the currents, the depth, and a few sharks that were hanging around, we just couldn't find it. We have no idea what happened. Hey? Yeah. Bye. 
good too. Damn, mate. <laughs> Sorry, man. No, hey, not your fault. I saw it and he was like, fine. Was... Yeah, I know. I hit the spine. So he dispatched the fish, and before I knew it, it was on again. This time it was Jay. I hadn't turned the camera on yet. He'd hit the bottom, stoned a king, and was dragging a decent fish back to the surface. The reason this next footage is all over the place is because I was filming with my handheld camera because my head-mounted GoPro had gone flat when a school of kings came in to circle Jay's fish. Of course, with a camera rolling in one hand, a spear gun in the other, I was just more determined to get a good shot on that king than where the camera was pointed. That girly scream you just heard was me as I put a perfect holding shot on a monster king and my spear snapped. I couldn't believe my luck. I'm in the water surrounded by these amazing fish with a gun I can't reload. The boat was just too far away and all I could do was just watch. I don't think anything else could have possibly gone wrong if I'd tried. It took us another 15 minutes to find this school and I'm a bit surprised they were still hanging around. This was third time lucky. Nothing's going to go wrong this time. I need to make this happen. I couldn't believe it. It was a perfect stone shot. I hit the spine, the shaft went through, the flopper engaged, the fish was mine. Jay seen the commotion, he was straight onto it, took a dive and shot his second fish for the day. I got a yeah. <laughs> What? When did get? Did you get off, Jay? Did you get off? Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. First kingy. I've been chasing kingies for about four years. Today was an exceptional day. 
I've shot three, but I only managed to get one in the boat. I'm absolutely stoked. Thanks, fellas, for taking me out. Good <laughs> 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 oh, on the menu tonight. <laughs> And with that, we headed home. Three very happy Spiros, a great fish each in the boat, and some crazy stories to tell. What a day. That was just a crazy day. Crazy day today. Been waiting years to shoot a king. Finally got one. In fact, I got three. Uh, one, the shaft didn't go all the way through. How's that? Broken spear. That's what's left of me spear after shooting that second big kingy. I have no idea how that snapped. I know that wasn't much fun, <laughs> especially after waiting years to shoot a king and then my shaft snaps. How good's that look? Yellowtail king fish. Seared just with a little bit of olive oil, some garlic butter, crack of salt, squeeze of lemon, plain and simple. That's going to be phenomenal. Can't wait, I think it's done. I've wanted to do a kingfish ceviche for such a long time, it's finally happened. I've got all my ingredients prepped. The fish is sliced thinly, let's get into it. I'm just gonna strain it to get all the bits and pieces out. With a cucumber, I've chopped it in half, scraped the seeds out with a spoon, I've peeled it, just slice it. First I'm going to start with a squeeze of lemon and lime. The acidity is going to cook the fish. We've got our lime juice, our lemon juice. Yum. That already smells incredible. First we're going to put on a little bit of pickled ginger. I think you've seen my pickled ginger in the past. I make this myself. These are chilies. So I've sliced them nice and thin also. This is our cucumber. I guess it's gonna add a bit of freshness. That looks pretty good. Some red onion, super thin, sliced super thin. The coconut water, put a bit of that on. I don't know how much flavor it's gonna give it, but I can smell the coconut, so I'm sure it's gonna be good. I'm also gonna grate a little bit of the coconut itself. Put some avocado on, just cause it's great, I love it. Little crack of salt, cause it, it's just gonna need it. Crack of black pepper. Now what we're gonna use here, instead of using garlic, I'm using garlic infused olive oil. That way I can get the garlic in without having big chunks of garlic. That's just gonna be, oh yum, yum. Last but not least, a little bit of fresh lemon and lime zest. Oh, hang on. Good little sprinkle. Oh, coriander. Yum. That is the freshest plate of seafood I'm probably ever gonna eat. And I can't wait to tuck in. Let's go for it. Hey guys, so if you like my videos, hit the like and leave me a comment. It all really helps. I'm Drew from Man Alive. I'll catch you on the next one.